With its distinctive snout and curved back, it's easy to see that the Babirusa is part of the pig family. The name Babirusa means pig deer in the Malay language. They got this name because of the long, graceful deer-like legs, and the males have curving tusks that look like deer's antlers. These tusks can grow up to 17 inches long. Disney's Betty the Babarusa became a star in Episode 3 of Disney Plus's Magic of Disney's Animal Kingdom from National Geographic when they bred her to Mentari from the Tampa Zoo. About 155 days later, a darling new Babarusa piglet, Karina, was born. Betty and Mentari were chosen to breed through the Species Survival Plan, SSP, overseen by the Association of Zoos and Aquariums. The SSP assures responsible breeding for endangered species such as the Babarusa pig. The exciting birth of Karina, which translates into sunbeam in Indonesian, was quite an accomplishment for Disney's Animal Kingdom. Related to the farmer's domestic pig, Babarusas differ because they have complex two-chambered stomachs like sheep. They are omnivorous and will eat almost anything berries, leaves, nuts, brush, bark, and even small animals. Babarusas are native to Sulawesi, an Indonesian island east of Borneo, and like to live in the rainforests and swamps. Unlike pigs that you see at the county fair that have ten or more piglets, the Babarusa only has one to three piglets. Some think that the Babarusa might have traveled to other Indonesian islands by swimming, but man could have brought them there since they were bestowed by native royalty as a gift. They are endangered today, and in Indonesia, killing them is illegal. Betty and her daughter Karina are hard to spot because there is quite a bit of foliage in the enclosure. You can see Mentari on Secrets of the Zoo Tampa. He got his long tusks trimmed for his upcoming date with Betty. The scientific name is Bibirusa celebenus Bibirusa. Be sure to like and subscribe.